Hey guys, it's Suzanne Mosley with Paper Pie. You can find me on YouTube and Facebook as Suzanne Shares Books. I'm Suzanne underscore shares on Instagram and my website with Paper Pie is SuzanneSharesBooks.com. So each year I update videos on a playlist on my YouTube channel, so look for that, uh, for homeschooling and classical conversations resources. So if you do CC, this is cycle one for our next year. Also, these are fabulous. If you don't do CC, if you have a history lover or if you guys homeschool, um, so this is, this video will share with you ancient history resources um, non-Greek myths, uh, uh, non-ancient Greece related, I have those in a separate video, that are um, more narrative based. I have a reference video, um, and these are really some really fun ones that are narrative based. So let's get started with these. I highly recommend time travel. If you do classical conversations, it covers four ancient civilizations, and this is actually really great for cycle one, cycle two. Cycle one um, with um, ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, and then cycle two, the medieval times and the Vikings. Um, this is similar, similar to the Magic Treehouse concept in that um, there is time travel involved and it goes backwards into um, an ancient uh, civilization. So you go back in time. I want to show you the ancient Egypt one because it's really fun. Um, where's that one? Um, so the way that it works, there's a little guy and I'll show you. I just love the Egypt one. Okay. Um, this guy travels. Oh, no, this is ancient Rome. We'll just go with that. He travels to different civilizations. And the cool thing about all, all four civilizations is there is a family within ancient Rome, within um, ancient Egypt, that um, you follow as you read through the book. So again, this is nonfiction, but it's narrative nonfiction. And it gives you a picture of what life was like during ancient Rome. What houses did they live in? What kind of work did they do? In general, what literally what was life like? Um, so this is prob this is actually the book <laughs> that made us fall in love with us from publishing in Paper Pie uh, when my oldest son, he's now in college, was in first grade. So I highly recommend um, that one. Um, another one on a, a, a lower, simpler level is this one from Kane Miller, um, Now and Then. So it also goes back and forth. Um, it shows what homes were like um, back then and what they're like now or what it was like um, to take pictures then and what it's like now. Um, so it's not as um, specific, but it just gives you a good overview for younger kiddos. Um, this, this is what how they did music in ancient Persia. Uh, so it is a really fun narrative uh, picture book to read about that um, hopping back and forth. This is also one of my favorites. This is nonfiction, 100 Things to Know About. It looks like a graphic novel. It literally has 100 facts. It covers lots of uh, random facts from ancient Egypt, ancient Rome, um, ancient Greece. And if you have a kiddo that just likes to read little chunks of information, this is fun because you can just read, you could read one per day. Um, throughout your school year or a couple, you know, assigned reading, and they're really, really fun. And they also have really funny, hilarious things. Um, so we enjoy that one a lot. This one is kind of random out there, but I had to include it because um, it is an escape room. So it comes with, um, inside there are paper activity um, puzzles that you solve, but I really like this one because it is set in a museum. And so a lot of the um, puzzles because you're in different rooms in the museum, a lot of them are set in um, ancient um, uh, histor historical civilizations. So it's that's kind of a, it's kind of a fun take on ancient um, history. So I hope you enjoyed all of those um, narrative ancient history resources uh, from Paper Pie, and thanks for watching.